hi everyone welcome to quantpot securities so in this video i will describe how you can add fires accounts into quantpot securities with the totp configuration so to add any account you have to come to account configuration here so in the account configuration page you have to select fires for that and these are the three parameters that you need to enter so username you already have let me enter mine and TOTP key I will explain how you can generate this and here is the MPIN I have entered mine so to generate the TOTP key you have to go to fires trading terminal so trade.fires.in so my account is already open so before doing anything make sure you log out first if you have not and after logging out let's see what is the situation so yeah i will go with my client id then you will either have totp or you will have otp so if you have already configured totp you can go with that or else you can send an otp so for the time being let me send the otp so I've already received it. And my pin. So once you go there, you have to go to profile or my account. So it will open a new tab. here you have to go to your profile manage account and here you can see external 2fa totp which is enabled in my case so if you don't have it then you can enable this so for this demonstration what i will do i will disable this first okay so totp is disabled now so in your case this might be the situation that you have not enabled it already so you will see this enable option so click on enable so this is the qr code that you will get so i will scan this in my authenticator let me scan it okay i have scanned it and i can see the totp in my mobile device and at the same time you have to copy it you can see the click here button so you can see the TOTP key is copied and this is the key that you need to add in Quantbot securities so I will paste it over here and after pasting I will not add it right now because it's not enabled yet so <clears throat> the TOTP actually regenerates in few seconds so let me enter the M pin first and then the TOTP that I can see is and this is I am seeing in my authenticator app and then I will enable this so this is enabled right now now what I need to do I have to log it out so I will click here and log out so I have logged out here also for confirmation I will refresh the page yeah it is logged out so once it is done then you can click on add button here so I will add it it will redirect me to fires website as you can see so login at client id then the totp again i will use my google authenticator i have entered it then the pin and sign in so once you sign in it might ask for an app authorization as my account uh, is already added in Quantbot previously that's why it didn't show but in your case if it asks for your permission you have to give the permission to the Quantbot app and then you will see that this files account is added now and I can see my name as well as the opening balance so right now if I want to add another files account I cannot directly add it over here before that you need to go to a separate tab and go to 
Fire's terminal and see if there is any existing login or not. So I just logged in. So it will show my account here. You can see it is logged in again. So before adding any new account, you have to log out first. So I will log out from here. And this is the standard practice that you need to follow. Otherwise, what will happen if I add a new account, it will again use my credentials because my account was login and it will take the same session ID. So make a note that you need to log out after addition of any account. Wherever you are adding a new account, you need to log out from Fires in a separate tab and then you can come to Pandwatch website and you can select Fires and add it again. So that's how you can add Fires account in Quantworld Securities. I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching.